Okay, well check it out. I've been hard at it. This is what it looks like here. Hope you can see that. And then it rolls real nice. Turns real nice. You can feel the resistance on the corners, but I haven't welded it. This is just ready for the final assembly. Then it looks like it's going to work. Like I say, it's going to be about an inch wider. I, uh, the mounts will be the thing. See where they're an inch wider apart. What I need to do is to, uh, well, I've just, when I disassemble this for the final assembly, while all the bearings are out and everything, I'll heat this up real close here, both of them, and bend them in, let them cool, and then heat them a little further out, and have a half-inch dog leg on each side, and that should get them in there close enough to line it up, and hopefully have enough adjustment left in these slotted fittings to uh, take up the slack and tighten up the chain, which I got to remember to put the chain on when I do this final assembly. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it's looking pretty good there. Check that dude out. Just rolling like crazy. Rolly, rolling Down the line. That just turns to there, see? Those are turns. That's really cool. It's a differential. And it's on this here frame. So, and I got the wheels. I formed them pipes to go inside the hubs and bottom out where the bearings would normally bear them bottom out and I've tightened the piss out of them and I on the final assembly I'll make sure and lock tight everything I guess and use lock washers and whatnot. Hopefully it's gonna be okay. We'll see. It looks good so Okay, well, I don't know what's going on.
pretty lube this. Grease my sandals with gears. And I forgot how long that lasts, or it's a mess of things. Anyway, I'm going to pipe down inside to make it a sensor again.
dreams I walk along Narrow streets of cobblestone Neath the halo of a street lamp I turn my collar to the cold and damp When my eyes are stabbed by the flash of a neon light That splits the night And in the naked light I see everyone around me talking without speaking, hearing without listening, writing songs that voices never share, and no one dares. My hands that I might reach you, but my words, like silent raindrops, fell and echoed in the well of silence. And the people bow and pray to the neon gothic. And the sign flashed out, it's a warning In the words that it is for me And the signs say the words of the prophets Are written on the subway walls And ten men walls And echoes Sounds
see any reason that I should be taking them off unless something happens to them which my intent they're a good snipe a good snug and tight fit I have to kind of knock them on there with the mallet but that's not enough I need them I'm going to epoxy them or or lock tight them or whatever I also have the epoxy I believe is my best bet I'm going to coat it with epoxy and fill in the this is the, uh, the deal's there. Yo, hey, kiddo. What's up, bud? Hey, everybody, the whole tribe's here. Hey, how oh, ya? Yeah. <laughs> Didn't expect that, did you? Okay. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go ahead and end this recording here, but I'm getting ready to epoxy these on here so you guys... We'll update you when we get it all put together, okay? Okay. Well, I got interrupted there a bit. But Wanted to show you what's going on here. When Ed and I, I'm not gonna, I think they're tightening the hands and I'm starting the recording again. I should have showed you how I put those on. Wanted to show you I fit the old bushings so that they went inside the hubs where the bearings were. And these are the two front wheels that were, one of them was replaced with the electric drive over there. And the other one is the front wheel off of this. Those worked out well, they fit. I drilled the shaft, I drilled them, and they fit on the shaft very tight and snug, and everything's real good. Uh, right now, they're just finger tight. Everything, these are up against the bearing races. The bearing races have uh, spacers, and it's not exactly uptight. That's what I'm hoping is when I tighten everything up, that little gap probably should be gone. I don't know if you can see that little, the little gap there. Um... It should be, or, or very close to gone. It, it, in the case things are just perfect here, I'll, let's see here, I'm gonna set you up here. So you can see. See there? 
there. It's uh, the alignment issues seem to be uh, taken care of now. Three wheels nice, wheels look good and straight, everything looks good. Um, they may have a little more resistance right now, but uh, the rims onto those axles until the final final assembly underneath the truck. That's what I've determined. That's why I uh, will wait on that until we're just going to make sure everything is the way it should be. I've got the old bearing race in here and the washer. Makes for a nice compression fitting, even a flared kind of a fitting. So you gotta be careful, you don't want to put too much on it. Flared fitting, so. it, it would be easy to put too much. Unnecessary. Of course, on the final, final assembly, they'll be locked tight. And, uh, so. All right. Yes. Uh, yeah. yeah, now we've got some resistance, though, see, so now. Spinning as nice as it was. That tightened things up as far as the differential. But it still feels good. Maybe give it a couple of wax. And uh, I'm going to set up the welder and do the final, the final welds. And then it'll be a matter of a uh, put the wheels, put the wheels together, put the tires and the tubes. And then we'll disassemble this.
Anyway, it goes like this. The fourth, the fifth, the minor fall, and the major left. The broken king composing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
Jane.
us humbly. So for eternity, I will strive beside humility. God is so lovely, I lower myself to be closer to
symbol, and then we're ready to go get the track running again. Got pretty new fenders and everything for them. Okay. That's how we do it. I hope we don't ever have to take it apart. <sighs> mm-hmm.